A particle is moving in a circle of radius 50 cm. This particle is moving in a circle of radius 50 cm, so 50 by 100 meter. In such a way that any instant the normal and tangential component of its acceleration are equal. This is the tangential component of the acceleration and this is the normal component of the acceleration and at any instant both are equal. If its speed at t equal to 0 is 4 meter per second, if it is given that u is 4 meter per second, the time taken to complete the first revolution will be this where alpha is this. Okay. First of all, it is given that a normal equal to a tangential. A normal is given by magnitude by same. We are not talking for the direction. So, a normal is centripetal for acceleration that is v square by r and a tangential is always dv by dt. So, we will write it is dv upon v square equal to dt upon r. We will integrate. The initial time is 0 and we have to calculate the time. That time is t. Initial velocity is given to us that is 4 and let final velocity is v. So, we will write next step it is d, dx by x square is minus 1 by x. So, it is dv by v square is minus 1 by v. Limit of integration is given by 4 to v. Similarly, here it is t upon r. So, next step it is minus 1 by v minus minus plus 1 by 4 equal to t upon r. Next step minus 1 by v equal to t upon r minus 1 by 4. So, minus 1 by v equal to 4 r LCM it is 40 minus r. So, we take 1 upon v equal to r minus 40 upon 4 r. So, v equal to 4 r upon r minus 40. Put the value of the r. v equal to 4. r is 50 by 100 in 0 0.5. 0 0.5 minus 40. Divide by 0 0.5. v equal to 4 upon 1 minus 4 divided by 0 0.5 is 80. Next step we require some space. So, let us create some space here. E is written as dx by dt. So, dx by dt equal to 4 upon 1 minus 80 or you can say dx equal to dt 4 dt 4 common LEJ 4 dt upon 1 minus 80. Now, again we will integrate like this. Let us say initial position is 0, initial time is 0. After time t it complete one complete revolution. One complete revolution means that is 2 pi r. The upper limit will be 2 pi r. So it is 2 into pi. R is given by 50 by 100. So 50 100 100 cancel the upper limit will be given by pi here. We have to change the limit because time is this. So here we will write 0 to t and here the complete distance table is pi. No, it is clear. So, next step integration dx is x and limit of integration is 0 to pi 4. This is written as a ln x means ln 1 minus 8t limit 0 to t and divide by minus 8. This is the basic differentiation that we have discussed in the differentiation class. Next step it is pi my x will be upper limit minus lower limit. So, pi minus 0 is pi equal to 4 then you can say this is minus 8 here then ln 1 minus 8t when we put 0 then ln 1 is 0 so need not to write it and it will be 4 to the 8 so next step we will write ln 1 minus 8t equal to minus 2 pi or you can say 1 minus 8t equal to e raised to power minus 2 pi and we write the value of the t here so 8t equal to 8t equal to 1 minus e power minus 2 pi implies that t is written as 1 minus e power minus 2 pi divided by 8 now you compare with this instant equation 
This is 1 minus e power minus 2 pi divided by alpha. With this, the alpha is given you 8. The right answer of this problem is 8.